Hi, it's Jane here from craftwithjane.co.uk and today's project is this really cute little shadow box um, that I've made to house this little um, Kath Kidson mint lip balm and it sort of had a Valentine's feel to it with regards to the lips and the colours of pink and red and it went, in my opinion, with this be beautiful um, sweep that we have in our new mini catalogue. So this is the shadow box that I will be making for you today. So I've got the inspiration for this. I bought my husband some socks, some posh socks for Christmas. Um, and they came in a little shadow box with a sleeve um, like this. And I thought, oh, gosh, that's lovely. I mean, obviously, it's a much bigger scale than this. Um, but I thought, oh, I wonder if I could do something similar. And I thought, what better project to do it with than a Valentine's gift? Um, so this Valentine's gift really is more for a friend. Um, so somebody who maybe needs a little pick me up and just to let them know that I'm there for them. So that was my inspiration for this little um, project today. So the designer series paper that I've picked to use for this is the Sweet Talk and it is really lovely and colourful and it's got some uh, obviously love heart patterns but also some beautiful rainbow multicoloured patterns. Um, it's just a fabulous, fabulous uh, little selection of DSP. quite like that one with the lollipops on. Uh, you can see it just all there. So I have chosen the two... Um, patterns with uh, both with hearts on to use so I've used this one here for the original project which has got the little lollipops pink and um, red uh, the hearts are the red ones lollipops and then I'm going to use this one for the one that I'm doing with you today a little shout out before I start as well to mention that celebration is still running uh, it's running from the 4th of January to the 28th of February anybody that shops with me and spends 45 pounds or shops stamping up um, will also be able to qualify for a free product uh, there are stamp sets designer series paper more stamp sets just here designer series paper this is my one of my favorite ones it's one of the first ones I got the rainbows some more there lovely awesome otters uh, stamp set there and i've got this bundle as well so i would i spent 90 pound to receive this and it's got the design series paper as well as a stamp set with it and um i've got this one as well and this one's a really large uh, sentiment stamp set um, and again i spent 90 pound to receive that free and um, there's a host one here as well for if you decided you wanted to run a party and you sold uh, a collective amount um, to your guests, you would be, or you could purchase all of, uh, you know, yourself, um, you would be able to qualify for a free host set on top of. So uh, just a reminder, celebration is still going on. So if you are interested in purchasing any products, please follow the links below at the end of the video. And uh, you can also qualify for the celebration. So the cardstock I'm using for this project is A4. Um, so if you're in America or Canada or anywhere that uses American letter size, you might need to adjust your measurements a little bit. You could still use your uh, normal letter paper. It just means the dimensions of the inner box would be slightly different. Um, because the way that we're going to score this means that um, as you're scoring it at the different ends. So uh, it will always meet in the middle correctly and then the dimensions in the inside of the box would be slightly different the shadow box itself so this is the um, a4 version a4 is approximately eight and a quarter inches by 11 and three quarters i'm going to score it at three quarters oops sorry I'm have to go there. three quarters one and a half two and a quarter and three so i'm going to do that on all four sides so three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three. And because I'm turning it, this is what makes the the uh, box work for any size, really. Because I'm keeping these measurements equal. They're all three quarters of an inch. But the inside of the box element here, that could change depending on the size of the paper. Okay, almost there. So there's another little bit of scoring to do. So I'm going to take it back to the long side at the top and I'm going to, this is scored at three and I'm going to work along three quarters of an inch and score just down the first two lines. So I'm going to need to work in from here three quarters. So that is to here 
and then I'm going to turn it and do the same. So I'm going to work in three quarters down two score lines and then I'm going to work backwards three quarters which is about in this A4 size is about seven and seven eighths. There we go. So I'll turn that over and hopefully you'll be able to see the lines a bit better. So you've got score lines there just to the first two lines and then score lines all the way down. I'm going to get my paper snips out now to do some snipping. So these two score lines I'm going to just I'm just going to trim down all of them, all four of them. I'm going to trim this all the way down to here. So there we go. And I will take off all of this. Okay, so I'm taking off that in that corner. And then just here, I'm going to trim from here across there diagonally. There we go. So you can see that I've trimmed all of that big part there, the four by four away. And then I've taken off this section just here. And this bit here is gonna create the nice corner of the shadow box. It's gonna create that line just there. I'm going to repeat this on all four sides. Hope that you can see uh, the pattern coming together. Last corner. And then once you've done this, we will be able to fold and burnish. So I'm going to lay this out flat just to show everyone the template that we're working with. So this is our template. Okay, so now I'm going to fold and burnish. I think this makes such an effective um, gift that um, I do love, I love doing it. And you can make it for any size specification. Um, it can be quite, you know, the measurements can be quite complicated. You can make these different sizes to make it a taller but thinner shadow box or wider but flatter. But I have chosen to keep it all the same just to make our life a little bit easier. So I'm actually going to use some Stampin' Silk Plus for this. So I'm going to start off by doing the end pieces first because I personally find these easier to work with like this. So I'm going to fold it in and then try and keep it as straight as I can and fold it up and that creates that first part of the box shape just there. And I'm going to try and do the same again. I've got that one just there. So those are there. Now I'm going to need to put some stamp and seal down here. There we go. And then do the same this side. There you go. Perfect. Lovely. And then I'm going to turn it back over, try not to get those bits on the bottom, and I'm just going to put some here. Now, the reason I'm putting a little bit here is because I need to be able to secure the box, um, and I need to be able to stick down these corners nice and flushly. There we go. Perfect. So, I'm going to start by pressing this down like this so that I know that I have it in the corner. And then I'm going to try and 
snatch it up as best I can. do the same with this one. So I'm going to try and make sure it's in this corner and then I'll bring it over and bring it down and the same here. There we go. There we go. Okay so there is my shadow box complete with my cute little um cute little lip balm inside so now i have my dsp i think i'm going to stick with my hearts because i think it matches the lips and i have cut this dsp to five and three quarters of an inch by seven so i'm now going to turn the paper over and i'm just gonna fold trying to keep this straight i'm going to fold over the DSP before I do anything else. And so the reason that I'm doing this is just so that I can get a starting point to know where to score. So I'm just going to pinch it along there and then I'm going to make sure it's straight and just fold. There we go. I'm just going to double check that that folds correctly. And then I'm going to follow the rest of this designer series paper around. Try and meet it up as best I can. And I'm just going to pinch along the edges just like that. So that I'm going to know where to where to fold. So I, this is the way I choose to do this because you can sometimes measure it out and it doesn't measure exactly. And I need to have, it needs to move. So I can't have it an absolute pinch finish. I need it to be, um, have a little bit of slack in it so that it will allow me to slide the wrapper up and down. Okay, so this is, and I'm just gonna double check that we are still fitting yeah we are and I can slide it up and down okay so now I'm going to glue and I'm going to use my stamp on seal plus and I'm going to glue along the edge Lovely. just there put the bottom down here perfect and hold that in place and then I'm going to try and bring my designer series paper in to match up there we go perfect lovely that's great and we still move up and down so I'll pop my little lip gloss in there that matches and there we go so that is my cute little wrap around. So next to decorate the box, I'm going to use this fabulous faux linen, real red uh, ribbon. It's absolutely beautiful and it goes with this suite. And I will be tying a little bow. <laughs> well, having a go at tying a little bow anyway. Let's see how we fare. I do try to, I'm sure I say this every video, try to tie a bow on the spool if I can get away with it. It doesn't always work out, so we'll see. I think, I think that it reduces waste, but I don't, you, never, you can never be certain, can you? So look how this wants to be. I can trim that just there. 
So I've completed the bow to the best of my ability um, just here. And now I'm going to move to the sentiment. So I'm going to use a, another of the celebration free um, stamp sets, a friendly hello. And for this one, I've picked you have my love and support. I think it's a really lovely um, way of sending a Valentine's gift for a friend. So I have my basic white here and I've stamped it in real red already and allowed it time to dry before I start um, punching and I'm using the, two of the heart punches that come in a dual pack and I'm going to punch out the first one just there with the sentiment and I'm going to use some of my spare real red to punch out the scalloped one which is going to form the back piece there we go and then I'm just going to get out some of my Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to pop a bit on the back of here and I will attach that onto the scalloped base just like this okay and I'll try to center it a little bit if I can perfect turn it over press down Double check, it still looks centered. There we go. Yep, that looks quite sweet. So I'm gonna add some uh, gems, because I do love a gem. So I've got these polished dots that go with the sweet as well. And they come in a clear, sort of um, iridescent, sort of uh, clear epoxy here. And then I've got this lovely pink one, which matches the pink in the paper. So I'll just pop a few of these on. I'm going to put it similar placement to consistency just here and one down here to the bottom. Lovely. Okay, and then I will get out my Stampin' Dimensionals because I love a Stampin' Dimensional. So I'll pop a few of these on the back. Just three to follow the shape of the heart. I will take the backing off and then there we go. And pop that maybe maybe that way this time. Jaunty little angle. There we go. So my shadow box with a wrap inspired by my husband's fancy socks that I bought them for Christmas. Um, so um, you get your packaging ideas from everything and um, basically half the joy of Christmas for me is keeping all of the interesting and wonderful packaging so that I can try to emulate it in my crafting um, and make it fit things that I would like to gift. I uh, hope you've enjoyed crafting along with me today. Um, I do love it when you comment um, and like and please consider subscribing. Uh, it's very important for me. It does give me... Um, definitely spurs me on to create more content for you guys um, and I really do enjoy interacting with you over the comments. If you're interested in any of the products I will put links to my shop and all of the products below. I would be delighted if you shopped with me. Um, I do send out thank you cards to everybody that shops with me and for qualifying orders and for those who use my host code I send out little gifts as well which are always well received and I really do enjoy doing that at the end of the month so please consider shopping with me um, and if you would like to join my team please follow the links below or reach out to me message me and we'll have a chat about it and see if it's the right decision for you okay i'm going to say bye for now and happy crafting